Selamat datang ke Bali. Welcome back to Bali Unveiled. Today's episode is about yoga. Bali is a hub for yoga. It is known as a spiritual place, especially Ubud, which is in the center of the island. And I will give you my recommendations of where to go. So Bali is where I discovered and did my first yoga session. It was six years ago and it was at Intuitive Flow in Ubud. So the, it's a little yoga studio on a hillside and you had a beautiful view on some forests and on a volcano. I think it was Mount Agung, but I'm not sure. But uh, it's a beautiful scenery and I knew that yoga studio because my mom, my parents were working with that studio for massage tables, or, or, I don't know. My parents had a furniture shop, so they provided for various shops and etc. Well, I, I digress, but so I did my first yoga session there and I just, yoga chose me and it was a really great experience and I wanted to know more and here I am today as a yoga teacher. I got certified last year in Bali too. And I mean, it's a lifelong journey that started right there. So my first recommendation is Intuitive Flow. I, I haven't been there since, but I am going to go there maybe in a week or two because I, I have been pretty busy these days, but I am going to go there bit nostalgic to do so but uh, I fully recommend because they have a beautiful studio as I said and the teachers there are great so my second recommendation is of course the yoga barn I'm sure you have heard of the name it is one of the best and well-known places in Bali to practice yoga I did my teacher trainings there I did two one 200 hour and 150 hour with Paul Teodo and Byron de Marseille. They both have taught in LA for a great number of years and they are experienced teachers, they are super great human beings. I did two videos on those trainings uh, right here. If you want to check them out, please do so. Uh, so you see a bit how the yoga barn is and how beautiful as a space it is because they have several shalas, several yoga places to practice and all are beautiful. They all have their unique scenery and it's a really great place to practice yoga. Just want to add that they have really good food too. There's a restaurant there and also accommodation if you need accommodation. My teachers were Paul and Byron. They both have weekly classes at the yoga barn. Paul has power yoga classes, yin yang, which is a, a weird mix, but you'll like it, and some yin yoga, yin and healing music yoga. And Byron is doing power yoga too, and he has a particular style that he's developing, his empowering flow. So if you want to check that out, it is a pretty unique class to attend and I'm sure you'll love it. He also has a class called Hatha with Adjustments. So this class is also unique because while he is teaching the class, other yoga teachers, maybe four of them, are going through the class and helping, supporting and readjusting people to help them in the postures and to make them feel safer and better in their bodies. So check that class too. One more place I want to mention is Radiantly Alive. They have two studios, one in Ubud, one in Changu. I have been only to the Ubud one. They have beautiful shalas. It's near nature and it's really a great place to practice. I actually have a few classmates from my training that teach there. There is Alyssa, Nicole, and Anan. The three of them teach at Radiantly Alive, so check 
those classes out. They are great teachers, even though they just begun. And I mean, go ahead. The last place I want to mention is in Seminyak. It is run by this yoga teacher whose name is Olop. He has been here for 20 years. His classes are always, has always been the same price and it is in his home. So it's a bit of a menagerie there. Chickens, ducks, a peacock, dogs. There's a lot of animals and you, there's a yoga practice place in the middle of that. And it's pretty limited. So I think there's maximum 30 people, but most of the people are regulars and there are a few new people. Olap is a great Iyengar teacher and it's not the same vibe as other big yoga studios where it's a bit more commercial, more Western yoga practices. And in this yoga studio, in Olap's classes, it's more traditional Indian Iyengar yoga. He is more focused on the anchoring of the body and the postures in themselves. He has a great practice. He is a very good teacher. I fully recommend him. So all up yoga studio. I think you can find it on Google Maps. He doesn't have a website or anything because he is really low key, but I fully recommend his classes. He's great. He has three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I recommend going to the beginner ones if you're still a beginner, because his classes are pretty hard. One last comment about the Yoga Barn, Intuitive Flow, and Radiantly Alive. Most of the people going there are new, either to the place or to the class. So it's pretty open to everyone because it's beginner friendly and these teachers know that a lot of people are just coming in Bali for a week or a few days and want to try one class and that class is theirs so they make it the best they can. So open to all, please make sure to check everyone out because it's a great place to practice. Of course, I haven't been exhaustive in this video. There are places in Uluwatu, for example, where there are beautiful yoga studios and yoga shalas that you can practice in. And also in Changu, in Ubud, there are a lot of other places you might want to visit. All in all, a lot of beautiful yoga teachers sharing their knowledge and practice in Bali. We are in a hub and well mostly i just want to say that mostly are westerners some are either indonesian or indians but most of the yoga classes i think are more western styles but i mean bali is becoming more and more western anyways so Please make sure to check those classes out. Terima kasih banyak. Thank you for listening. I hope that you have more ideas of where to practice yoga in Bali. If you have any other recommendations, please feel free to comment. If you want to check out what the yoga barn is like, search for any videos or watch mine on the yoga barn. I have two that I put here or here. I'm still not sure. Like and subscribe if you want more information and know that I have a playlist on Bali a whole playlist so check that out if you want more info on Bali see you in the next one